Welcome back to By the Slice from Thoughts on the Bench. I'm Josh Elsass. Today, we're finally done with the fucking corporate pizza joints and my hair is just, like what is going on with it? It looks like a helmet. Do you see, like, it's just, it's not great today. It's not, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, By the Slicers. Do you want me to go full douche? We'll just go full like, oh yeah, my dad owns a yacht. Uh, but shout out to Mindful Brewing. Uh, friend Dylan is the restaurant manager over there and uh, they're pretty cool. We'll hopefully send Derek and Greg over there one week. Anyway. <laughs> um, we're done with corporate pizza joints. And I thought we need a big name to get back into the local scene. Is there a bigger name than Frank's Chicken and Pizza? Probably not based up there in the lovely Troy Hill. Uh, so here we go. Um, you can see it. Do, 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 do. Now, I know um, Frank's Buffalo Chicken Pizza, Buffalo Chicken Pizza. I get it. All right. I've had it. It's delicious. Incredible even. And if you've not had it, I highly recommend it. But here's the deal. We do pepperoni pizza. And maybe once I make my way through every place, we'll think about diving into specialty pizza. But for now... We're sticking with the pepperoni. That is a thin crust. Almost kind of like, uh, I'm gonna say it wrong. Jo jo -yos. Yo -yos. Jo -yos. Jo yos Joe yos Joe-yos. Joe-yos. Joe-yos or whatever out in Greenfield. Greensburg. Not Greenfield. Where the hell, Greensburg. <laughs> um, kind of has that thin crust to it. Feels like a, a pie, lots of cheese. Uh, we'll see. God, that Frank's uh, cheese is a little different tasting. Mmm. It's so good, though. Pepperoni on point. There's like an adequate amount of sauce, which was the worst part of the corporate pizza joints. Hmm. Uh -oh. So good. I mean, it's good. Um, it's different. You're not gonna find this at like a Fiori's or a Minio's or any any of like the big major spots, right? Pittsburgh pizza is generally a very thick crust. Um, this is this is much thinner. Not New York style, but good. I'd say Frank's, and this could just be because it's my first my first shot back. Give me a 7-3 on Frank's. It's one of the most unique pizzas in Pittsburgh. I know that buffalo chicken is fire, and that is something that you need to try. But they also have one of the best homemade ranches in the city. And I think, oh, did you see that I get on camera? When I pulled it up, it like stuck to the lid because it's so thick. thick. Um, they're one of the best homemade ranches in the city. And I think uh, after the pizza, uh, corporate pizza joints, I'm gonna try to order some uh, sauces with all of the pizzas moving forward. So Frank's homemade ranch. Mm. There is a very popular opinion all ranch is good ranch. That is incorrect. Buttermilk ranch is bullshit. That's not buttermilk ranch. That's like that tangy, like kind of mm, savory, uh, like Greek yogurt ranch. And you can see like the chunks of flavor in it. Mm, that's good ranch. The HBC. Mm. Right, HVR, boom, <laughs> great ranch. Buttermilk ranch, fuck it. Buttermilk is bullshit. Needs to be on a shirt though. I hope you're paying attention. Um, great fucking pizza. Uh, it was a seven three, add the little ranch onto it. 
Maybe it creeps into a 7.5 because the ranch is so good. I'm going to have a little more. Mmm. I fucking love it. Frank's chicken and pizza. I'm going to buy a slice. I'm so happy to be back at local shops. After review.